please. How are you, Trish? Hey, I'm sorry for your loss. To Mushu. To Mushu. How old? In better days. Okay. In a better place. With better cats. Yeah. With many, many cats. Oh, I'd say that Evan Williams got flavor to it. That oh. was your that Look at the mourners, bloody damn hypocrites. Isn't it grand, boys, to be bloody well dead? Let's not have a sniffle. Let's have a bloody good cry. And always remember the longer you live, the sooner you bloody well die. Look at the preacher. Bloody nice fella, isn't it grand, boys, to be bloody well dead? <laughs> Let's not have a sniffle. Let's have a bloody good cry. And always remember the longer you live, the, the sooner, sooner you bloody, bloody well die. die. When did the cat die? This morning? Yesterday. So was it all rotten now? No, uh, we put her in the freezer. <laughs> you put your cat in the freezer? Yeah. Next to like the chicken cutlets? Meatballs, there's some meatballs, there's uh, <laughs> lasagna, some frozen peas. Good cat. <laughs> Let's carry her all the way. Okay. I want to show you how she was prepared for burial in the traditional Egyptian style with her, her parchment, her guide to the netherworld and an eternity supply of rubber bands as well as some catnip and her favorite blanket. I think that's great. Okay. Aww. And it says here, Mushu and hieroglyphics. The real celebrity send off, but it's I tell you. Bye, Mushu. Here with your brothers and sisters here, the Teddy Graveyard. Mushu was a good cat, a friendly cat, the friendliest cat, friendliest cat the, the plumber's friend, the electrician's friend, anyone that came over to fix anything, she came over to say hello, and she was well loved and will always be remembered. loudest purr we've ever heard. As you know, I've owned many pets, and uh, I didn't really understand the depth of the bond between the pet and the pet's owner until we started burying them back here and saw how important it is to give someone a respectful send-off. Now, we have been taught in the Bible and in school and religion class that God made animals to serve us. I would like to dispute that, and I would like to say that God gave us animals for us to serve them. Because do they not rely on us for shelter, 
and food, support, and friendship. friendship. And through those times, aren't there times when we look to our Creator, whoever we may believe He is, for the same type of protection and support and love? Because they're not just a friend, they're not just a servant. They're family. God's creatures, just as we are. And the bond between us, the gift of friendship we receive from a pet, is truly one of God's great gifts. In times like this, we shed tears. Now, what do tears do for us? What purpose do tears serve? Seemingly no purpose. We cry and we can't help it because we get emotions that we have no control over. When we're babies, we cry and our mother comes running to help us. But as adults, that mother is not there to run and give us a bottle. It's not that simple. So as a last resort, we cry. We cry tears of pain. We cry tears of sadness, but we also cry tears of joy because these are the things we feel that sometimes we just don't want to. So we cry for help. And that's why we all get together on days like this, have a few laughs, have a few drinks, not have a schniffle, but a bloody good cry. Yeah. Man, please. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind now I can see it was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious just did that grace appear the hour I first believed That's beautiful. Thank you. through many dangers, toils and snares I have already come his grace that brought me safe thus far and grace will lead us home the Lord has promised good to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and portion be as long as life endures thank you, thank you. So God bless you all God bless Mushu a reading from Deuteronomy 24, 17. Deuteronomy!
everybody. One, two, three. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Well, Dan, it's been one hell of an eye bar. And one hell of a cat funeral. Special thanks for Trish McCabe, the new Mrs. DePala. For Nancy Tendy for cooking bacon, spam, and cutting the bagels. For Dan DePala for bringing the bagels. And of course, special, special thanks to Mushu for dropping dead. Mushu. See, Mushu. Here's to you, Mushu. We'll see you at the, the next, next cat. cat. Look at the coffin, bloody fine handles, isn't it grand, boys, to be bloody well dead? Let's not have a sniffle, let's have a bloody good cry, and always remember the longer you live, the sooner you'll bloody well.